Hi guys, it's Easton from the VEX Forum, and today I will be explaining my motorless robot. Um, so first a couple things, I realized that in the video I posted of it, do, it um, doing its autonomous, uh, it didn't work completely. Uh, that's because with so many motorless mechanisms, um, and each mechanism relying on the previous one to execute perfectly, um, it can accumulate a lot of error, and it takes like 5-10 to 10 minutes to set up, and I was kind of running out of time, so I didn't have time to get a video of it uh, doing completing its run. But just trust me, it does work. It's uh, very inconsistent, however. Very, very inconsistent. Um, so I'm going to start. Um, talk, I'll talk about the drive first. So uh, it has um, these these tubing. Uh, it's two, two pieces of tubing doubled up, so it's four strands thick. Um, it goes around here and around there and goes around this pulley right here and then it wraps around this um, and that is the drive forward uh, rubber banding so that's what makes it drive forward right now I have a screwdriver right here to keep it from driving forward so I can talk about it um, after it drives forward uh, the mobile goal lift is triggered by this thingy uh, the mobile goal hits this which makes it come away from here, which is holding it down. Uh, and then these rubber bands pull it up. Um, once it pulls it up, it yanks on this string, which drops the cone, which would be in here. Um, and also when it pulls it up, it pulls on, it pulls this axle out, which is holding this right here, uh, which is the driving backwards rubber bands. So these rubber bands go, or these, this tubing goes all the way around here and back down where it is attached at the bottom and that's how it drives backwards um, as it drives forwards this string wraps around here um, this little thing and uh, so whenever this uh, comes out um, then it pulls on the string and makes it goes backwards um, oh so then after it goes backwards uh, the, here's the tension release right here um, this thing uh, gets pushed in, which pushes in these axles right here, uh, which have the rubber bands around them, have them on both sides, and that allows uh, this rubber band right here um, to pull it back down, and that's after it drives backwards. So, first of all, it would drive forward, I'll just do it really quickly, like that. I'm going to pull it backwards now. Um, actually, I'll drive it forward to let the string wind up like it should. Then, uh, once it hits the mobile goal, then it will do that. So the mobile goal lift came up. So you can see the cone dropper opened, and it started to drive backwards. Um, the string didn't wind all the way up because it didn't, I didn't have it go fo forward as far as it normally would, so it's also not going backwards as far as it's supposed to. And then... Let's hit the starting bar, and this tension release is extremely inconsistent. It's probably the most inconsistent thing on here. Um, you have to hit it kind of hard or at the right angle. So I'm just going to push it in from under here because it's easier to do it that way. And then it goes back down, and um, that's the motorless robot. If you have any questions, just uh, contact me on the VEX forum or on Discord.